Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa and on today's video, I will be going through what I got in my September BoxyCharm box. So if you're interested to see what I received, then definitely keep on watching. So it is finally that fall weather. So I wanted to wear my new hoodie that I got from H&M. It is so comfy. I know it's wrinkled. I haven't ironed it or anything. I wanted to be super comfy and have this video be super chill so I can go through this box with you guys and see what's inside. So this is what it looks like. Hold on. Give me a second. This is what it looks like when I first open it. I'm really super excited because the first thing that catches my eye is there is something from Huda Beauty in here. And we'll get into that a little bit later, but I already own some of her products. And this product right here, which we'll talk about again a little bit later, I wanted to purchase. So I'm really excited. Okay, so if you've seen any of my other BoxyCharm unboxing videos, I always like to <laughs> open it as like a surprise in front of you. So I don't pay attention to any BoxyCharm spoilers or anything like that before I open it or watch anybody else's videos before I film mine because I always like to be surprised on what's inside. So I like to have my first initial reaction with you guys. But then one of my last videos that I filmed, I wanted to also do a try on. And when I was doing the try on, I was doing things out of order that they should have been done by trying on. I, I put on, uh, I think it was like put on like concealer first. And then I realized that there was a serum in there. So I only got to try the serum on my chin. Um, so since I'm also going to do another try on, I did take a peek at what was inside just to kind of see so I can make sure I do the products in order of how you would put them on. So the first item of the box that I'm going to try is by Pharmacy and it's Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. And this is what the box looks like. It's super fun on top with a bunch of cherries. Very colorful. I'm super excited about trying this because I did get... The in I believe it was in March, my first box that I ever received. I got the Pharmacy uh, Cleansing Balm, Very Cherry, and I'm obsessed with it. I did film a video earlier trying it for the first time, not knowing what I was doing. And um, now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and it's amazing. Okay, anyway, let's get back to this box. So Pharmacy Cheer Up Brightening Eye Cream. Let's see how much this retails for. $45. $40 five freaking dollars okay so i don't know a lot of people have mixed opinions about boxy charm but i really like boxy charm and it's definitely worth the money like this product right here is more than the box itself you know like anyway love i love boxy charm and i've gotten some really amazing products but okay sorry i keep getting off topic so 45 dollars for this pharmacy cheer up cream i'm so excited that it's a very cherry and i'm so excited i get another pharmacy product because i am obsessed with the cleansing balm so this is what it looks like it's super cute it's like red like cherry love it and let's go ahead and do the initial smell test really smell anything which is i guess it's really good because it's about to be on my eyes okay Let's see. So how to use tap and gently smooth around the eye area. May apply to brow bone for additional residents. Use AM and PM. Okay, so it's a super hydrating vitamin C rich eye cream that brightens and helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and dark circles, which is super exciting for me because I have fine lines and I've been trying to find a product that gets rid of them. So if this does it, I will be so excited. Okay, so let's try the cream now. So tap gently, so you should always use your ring finger because it has the easiest touch on your eyes. And I'm just gonna put a little bit, just a little bit, and let's try it. Well, it applies nicely. With eye products that I haven't experienced anything to show results immediately, usually with these types of products, it shows over time. So I can give you an update on this in the future. But I'm excited and I have really high hopes for this product. So I really liked their cleansing balm, so I'm really excited. 
to see if this really does help reduce the appearance of fine lines because I know you can't see it from a dip far but they're there and you can really see them when I put concealer on so I'm in the box is some brushes and it's Luna Magic Los Angeles New York Beauty with a Latina vibe and I like the holographic let's go ahead and look at the look at this ready hold on Angus is really amused by my boxy charm. I just wanted to join in the video today. Okay, anyway. Nice, it comes with four brushes. Take them out of their packaging. Okay, they feel super soft. So the Luna Magic Beauty is $18 for the four piece brushes, which is for four brushes, $18, pretty expensive. I have purchased a 12 piece brush set from BH Cosmetics for $28. So that's pretty good. BH Cosmetics does have good brushes and cheaper pricing. So I don't know. We'll see. But the bag's pretty and I like the colors. So we'll see. We're going to test those out in a second. But we're going to go to the next product first and you'll see why. So there is an eyeshadow palette in it and it's Evening Glamour. Is that Blink? And it's a limited edition palette. I might have totally butchered that, but here it is. All the colors. I instantly go for sunset. That is really pretty. This palette right here, it's a limited edition palette, so that's exciting. And it is $26. And it is a compact of eye and blush with six pigmented shadows and two blush shades. So these are the blushes, and then these are the eyeshadows. If you watched my Rare Beauty review, you would know that I don't typically use blush, but I will again try it today because of these. So, okay, let's dive in. So I'm gonna start off with Twilight and I'm just going to a place that on my lid. I always do my face color with my finger. Okay, now that it's applied to both eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and take the closest brush that looks like a blending brush and Lunar Magic. And I'm gonna go, they're not very many like transition shades, but you know what? I'm gonna try the blush as an eyeshadow because this, I don't even think this shade would go good with my skin tone. So we're going to use this as a transition shade, tap off access. Um, and I felt like it would be a better as an eyeshadow for me. So here we go. And then I'm gonna use just the same brush and I'm gonna go in with Nightfall. And then I'm going to go in with Sunset. And I'm just gonna use my finger for this and I'm just going to apply it here. I really like how this uh, look came out. It's really like neutral, but it looks really nice. So that's Evening Glamour. Let's go ahead and just try the blush. I know I have no foundation or concealer on. There's none in the box, so I'm not gonna put any on. This brush this is like a highlighter brush. I'm just gonna use it for the blush. I'm gonna do shadow. Well, that's very pigmented. Okay, like I said, I don't use blush, so I probably didn't even apply it right, but it looks all right. Looks all right. I know it looked better if I put on concealer and foundation, but... Mm. <laughs> okay. The next item I'm going to try in the box, which I am super excited about because when I opened the box, I was so excited to see a Huda Beauty product in my box because I love her products. I love her makeup products so much and I have owned all of her palettes 
um, not all the little, <laughs> not all the little mini ones, but at least like the full size ones. I own all of them. So I'm super excited to try this. This is her matte and metal melted shadows. And when this came out, I wanted to try it so bad and I wanted to buy it, but I never got a chance to buy it. And when I saw that it was in my box, I'm super excited because this is the exact shade that I was going to buy. So I'm super excited. So thank you, BoxyCharm, for putting this in my box. It's like you read my mind that this is what I wanted. Okay, so you could see it a little bit closer now that I got out of the packaging. It looks amazing. And it is shade, so the, like the sparkly shade, the metal shade is a drop top, drop top. <laughs> And the other shade, the matte shade, is Double Pump Latte. Okay, and this retails for, it retails for $25. So you see why I didn't purchase it. But I wanted to, and it was in my cart for a while. I just never got myself to actually buy it, so I'm super excited that I have it. Okay, let's try it. So I'm just going to add it to my look today. Never tried, like, a type of eyeshadow like this before. So just add to the look that I already have. I'm just gonna place it here. This is the matte. I don't really know if this is how you're supposed to apply it, but it goes really well with this eyeshadow look. So I'm just gonna do that. Just add it in there. Kind of reminds me of foundation. <laughs> You can't really tell with my lighting, but let's go to the other side. Now I'm gonna leave this not like with normal. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this with just the from the other eyeshadow palette, the Evening Glamour. But I'll do this one with the How to Beauty. Now we're gonna do the met. Now we're gonna do the metal side, and I'm super excited about the metal. So it's like a little brush like this, and. I'm just going to, ooh, ah, <laughs> oh my, oh my, I am ready to party. Very nice. I like the metal a lot. I'm super excited for this. And I love the packaging. Like, it's just so chic. Okay, now there's only one more item in my box. And it is Lash Boss Bold. It's from Laura Geller and it's a mascara. You can never have enough mascaras. I love trying mascaras to see what's the best. So apparently this is your before and then this is after using the product. So we will see. And it is a smooth formula that provides, it's a smooth formula that provides extra volume without plumping. It's a va va volume. <laughs> and this goes for, $24, $24 for this mascara. It's in shade black. I'm super excited to try. So here we go, Laura Geller, New York. Let's try it. Let's look at the wand first, very important. Okay, looks nice, promising. Okay, let's go. Alright, so you can definitely tell that I have mascara on. It's not, I would say it's good mascara. It's not my favorite. I actually really like the Princess Lash from Essence, which is like $4.99. Amazing. I'll use it for sure. Would I buy it? No. Sorry, Laura. Sorry, Laura Geller. But I'm excited that I did get it in my box because I do love mascaras. Okay, so let me do the other side so I don't look strange. Okay, so now we've gone through all five items on my box. My overall thoughts on the September 2020 BoxyCharm box is I really like it. I love that they get my two 
my two favorite items in the box, which you've already known by watching it, is the Pharmacy Cheer Up eye cream and the Huda Beauty matte pencil, the matte and the melt, the metal. I'm really excited more for the metal than I am for the matte because this just will really make your eyes pop. And I'm really super excited about that because I love metals. So these are amazing. And then it's always good to have brushes. I You can never have enough brushes. They are good brushes. I will say the Luna Magic are, but personally, I wouldn't have bought them because there's only four brush, brushes for the price of 18. I feel like that's a little much. The Evening Glamour, I'm happy I have a limited edition palette. You can never have enough eyeshadow palettes. And I really do like the colors a lot. I feel like this palette, I would have to use other eyeshadow palettes to complete a look. Um, other than the one I did today. I just, that just would be for me. And then I would probably use the blushes as an eyeshadow. And then I really do like the mascara that but it's not my favorite mascara but it is a good mascara i feel that this mascara would be really good paired up with another mascara because i will use two mascaras at a time to really get what you need but it is i do like it because there is no clumping it is an easy applicator to apply i didn't feel like i had a struggle around the eye so the wand itself is amazing and you can tell that i do have mascara on but if I want that falsified look, I would use definitely one of the Essence ones with it or something else to get that look. But this is really good for like a natural and you want to make sure that you have something on. So I do like that. So overall, the items much covered the price of the box. Description is $25 a month. So just like... The Huda Beauty Mattes $25, the Eyeshadow Palettes $26, the Laura Geller's $24, and the Pharmacy's $45, and then just the Luna Magic's $18, which is a little under that $25. So overall, like this was more than one box itself that paid for itself. So I think that's really cool. If you've gotten this far, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel. I like to post videos on Wednesdays. Sometimes there's a surprise video here or there on Monday, Friday, Sunday. You never know. But thank you so much again for watching. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.